Boston. Ball's in the air, tip controlled by Carolina. They got it the way to Tyler Hansbro, and immediately we've got a tie up and a jump ball. So let's see what happens on the, I think they're gonna have to go right back to the center jump circle and jump it again because they had not established possession as yet to give the arrow a chance to be turned on favoring one team or the other. So again, it's gonna be Delvon Rowe and Deion Thompson. Now Curtis no. Shaw stepping in saying, no, no. It's gonna be Tyler Hansbro and whoever it was tying him up. And that, <laughs> I think it, there may be a decided advantage on this time. Yeah, that's gonna be the shorter Travis Walton. Tom O'Neill steps in again, ball in the air. Tip control by Carolina, off to Wayne Ellington. He'll put it in Lawson's hands. Tar Heels go to work against a very stout Michigan State defense. Lawson moves left side, goes on down to the baseline. We'll come right back to Deion Thompson. Deion Thompson gives it up to Wayne Ellington. Ellington at the top of the key, double team. Here's Thompson to the baseline. Spins toward the lane. The soft jumper is good from about six feet away. 2-0 Carolina in the first 30 seconds of play. Michigan State gets the ball front court. Raymar Morgan gave it out to Sutan in the midcourt area. He dropped it off to Lucas. Now they swing it to the left side to Walton. Walton will shoot it right back to Lucas. Boy, a pair of outstanding guards. Lucas moves right side. Sutan, he'll take the jumper from the top of the key, and it's good for three. He shot 44 of those this year. That was number 45, and he's made 19 of them. 3-2 Michigan State. Danny Green on the drive, kicks it back to Lawson on the right side. Lawson moves to the top of the foul circle. Danny Green pumps a three. Good! Carolina surges back in front, 5-3. to three. 47% of green shots are three-pointers. He was four for 10, got all of his points on three-pointers in the win over Villanova Saturday night. Now Lucas will drop it off to Morgan. Now it comes to Walton, dropped inside, tried to get the ball to Morgan, and he didn't even expect it. He didn't see it coming. Ball got thrown out of bounds. Danny Green didn't touch it, and it's gonna be Carolina basketball. Well, I can't say that I'm disappointed to see Danny Green make his first shot. Tom Izzo has called Raymar Morgan over to the bench to have a word with him. He put a substitute in the game for him. And that substitute is Darrell Summers, 6'4 sophomore from Detroit, Michigan. Now Wayne Ellington on the right side for the Tar Heels. He'll give it to Hansbro. Now dropped it back to Ellington. He drives, scoops it up, good! Carolina's out to a 7-3 lead on Wayne Ellington's dribble penetration and the spinning layup. Now Summers off to Lucas. He'll work to the midcourt area to set it up. Now comes to Walton on the left wing, down the sideline to Sutan. Back to Lucas. Lucas will work toward the right side, just past the top of the foul circle. Now backing up into the midcourt area. Gives a new offensive signal to his teammates. Now he'll move right on... Lawson gave it to Sutan. Sutan drives, lost the ball out of bounds, and Carolina gets it on the turnover. They are the miscues we talked about, Eric. Well, when they do that, when there's good pressure and there's no outlet for that pressure, that's when these things start falling out of bounds. We've seen it the last two possessions with Michigan State trying to find someone to throw to, but everything is dry. Lawson to Hansbro. Now left wing to Ellington. Right back to Hansbro. Drives and gets fouled on the play. I think he caught the Michigan State by surprise, and the foul came on the late recovery by Delvon Rose, the freshman from Euclid, Ohio, who had his final two choices down to Carolina and Michigan State before he decided to become a Spartan rather than a Tar Heel. Hansbro to the line, free throw. No good. Don't tell me that free throw bugaboo is hanging around from Saturday night when the Tar Heels went only two of 27 or 2 of 37, 22 of 37 against Villanova. Next one is clearly through, as you expect from an 85% shooter and fourth best in the ACC. 8 to 3 Carolina. Now Michigan State to the top of the key. Long outside jump shot, no good. Rebound to Danny Green. That missed shot was by Lucas. Now to Lawson on the right side. He'll give it to Green. Tried to drop it down inside to Deion Thompson and threw it away out of his reach. And Danny beats his chest to tell his teammates. That was my fault, which everybody in the building recognizes, I believe, but nice of Danny to call it on himself, and he'll do better next time. Eight to three, Carolina. We are about three minutes into this one at Ford Field in Detroit. Again, jam-packed. Sutan from the left side. Jumper, and air ball. Ty Lawson picked it up, gets it front court, takes it right to the top of the key. 
Hits Thompson with it. Bounced it off the glass. No good. Sutton with a rebound from behind Hansbro. Now to Lucas. Lucas drives down the right side. Feeds in the corner. Raymar Morgan for the jumper, and it's good for two. Eight to five. Carolina's lead is three. Loft uh, attacked. Ty Lawson and scores on the layup. Took it down right of the lane and scored it. Carolina steals the ball in the backcourt. Off to Deion Thompson, and he's fouled on the play. So it will be Thompson going to the foul line. Carolina scoring quickly and then getting yet another turnover off its backcourt defense. I think they threw pressure on Michigan State, and it surprised them a bit, Eric. No, I think you're right, Woody. That's what they're just a little bit of mixing in pressure here and there, trying to keep some so that you can't know exactly what's happening next. Thompson hits his first one. Deion Thompson, a bit of an interesting story after a very, very strong beginning to the season. Had a little bit of a lull. Now he's picking it back up again in postseason play. He made his first of or one of two field goals, and he's at the line for his second shot after making the first. That foul a moment ago was on Sutton. It was his first and the second team foul, and both free throws are good by Deion Thompson. He's going to the bench, and Ed Davis, the talented freshman out of Richmond, Virginia, comes in to replace him. 12-5, to five, Carolina by seven, and early on, Eric, the partisan Michigan State crowd's been a little quiet. Well, it has been. There's been a, it's just been a good, hard-nosed game thus far. Draymond Green is in the lineup also for Michigan State. He handles it right side. Got it away to Summers. The shot is no good. Rebound taken down by Davis. He'll get it to Lawson. Tar Heels come quickly as the Spartans try to get back. Now to Davis over on the left side to Ellington. Ellington starts to move. Now gives it to Green at the top of the key. Green takes a look down inside. Will push it to Ellington. Outside jumper. Good for three. Wayne Ellington with five to lead the Tar Heels scoring in the early going, and it's 15 to five. But at the other end, it's a basket by Michigan State. Draymond Green on the bucket for Michigan State. Got in behind the Carolina defense to make it 15 to seven. Here's Hansborough off the baseline. Scores from about 15 feet down on the left. That's his first field goal. He's got three. Very balanced scoring to start out here tonight, Eric. Here's the bounce pass away to Sutton. He drives, and a travel called on Sutton, and that'll turn it over to Carolina. And with that, we're going to get a timeout on the floor. Already four Michigan State turnovers compared to only one for Carolina. 15-24 left to play first half. Carolina on top of Michigan State by 10. Sutton takes the guy, watches him, gets a feel for the game, and Izzo pretty much, I mean, he said he just leaves him alone. He made... He wants it within their scope of defense, but he lets him go. That whole point of that is Hansborough is being held under single coverage by Sutton, something that bodes well for Hansborough. And I think he just picked up a foul. Let's see, who was that? It's on Chris Allen, Woody of Michigan State, for trying to fight through his screen and using his body. So Hansborough's got single coverage on him, at least for the time being. Eric was the one who asked you a question. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been working with you guys long enough this year. Ball inbounded by the Tar Heels. A foul on Allen was his first and the third team foul against Michigan State. Here's Lawson with it on the left side. Bounces down to Hansbro. Turns, faces up on Sutton. Goes to the baseline. Jump shot is no good. Sutton with a rebound. Stayed right in front of Hansbro and boxed him out on the play. Now at the other end, Lucas on the drive. High up off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Ed Davis, his second since coming off the bench. Here's Lawson down the right side. Lawson with a crossover. Double team. Bounced the ball away to Ellington. Went by Davis. Now Ellington will try to drive into the lane. Whips it out to Lawson. Lawson to the baseline. Jumper from behind the glass. Woefully weak. Saved by Ed Davis. He goes up to score and does. Ed Davis was buried under the glass when that happened. Steal by Lawson. Carolina comes up with its second steal off an inbounds play. And Bobby Fraser missed the outside shot. But Wayne Ellington was there to clean it up. He's got seven and it's 21 to seven. Carolina over Michigan State. Tom Izzo has been up on the sideline on this elevated floor for the last couple of possessions. Roy Williams has yet to get off the Carolina bench. Sutton from outside misses the long jumper. We got a whistle and a foul on Michigan State. And the foul is on Draymond Green, and that will be his first and the fourth team foul. There has not yet been a team foul called against Carolina. 
quite yeah. a flurry of offensive activity for Carolina to this point at the 14 minute mark just hitting the six minute mark Carolina already with 21 points hands roll to the bench as Deion Thompson returns Danny Green out front now to Lawson back on the left side Lawson on the drive all the way to the baseline he got fouled on the play by Summers Darrell Summers was the defender but just not quick enough once Lawson got a shoulder in front of him and so the foul is the fifth team foul on Michigan State, and Lawson will be at the line. We've already had a couple of AT&T long-distance three-pointers here in the first half. One dropped in by Danny Green, another by Wayne Ellington. AT&T, your world delivered. Now, Woody Lawson was able to get his shoulder around Summers. Summers had to trail him on the side, allowing Lawson a free lane to the basket. And the reason why that lane was available after Lawson missed his first free throw just now, but that lane was available because the bigs emptied out from that side of the court so Lawson had no one in front of him Lawson 10 of 17 on Saturday night against Villanova gets his second he's got three early points 22 to 7 down the side on the right goes Luke uh, Lucas that's Kalen Lucas hands it off to Summers he brings it to Allen to bounce pass to Raymar Morgan jump shot no good ball knocked away whistle and the first foul is against Carolina and it's called on Danny Green and sarcastic cheers coming up from the partisan Michigan State crowd in that it took better than eight minutes or better than six minutes to get the first foul called against Carolina. Lucas is out now, and I believe Walton has come back. Chris Allen will also work with him in the backcourt. Rowe, Morgan, and Summers is the Michigan State front line. Summers with a jumper, got fouled on the jump shot. Curtis Shaw, the umpire, spots the foul from the baseline. And I believe that one was Bobby Fraser. That's on green again. Oh, it's on green again. One four rather than just four. And that's the second foul against the North Babylon New York product. Now Wayne Ellington's got to come get him. Summers at the line. Free throw is up and no good. He's a 72% free throw shooter on the year has gone five of seven in the postseason, so he hasn't gotten many opportunities to take the 15-foot unguarded shot. Ellington in. Green sits down. Next free throw is good. So that's Summer's first point of the game, and it's 22 to 8. Michigan State has only three field goals in this game through the first six and a half minutes. Here's Ellington giving the ball up to Drew. That goes down baseline. Deion Thompson made a nice spin move toward the lane. Gets his second field goal. He's got six. 24 to 8. Michigan State. Summers. Moving the ball now around the perimeter. Allen's got it. Frazier staying in front of him. Allen up for the shot. No good. And Bobby Frazier is so upset with himself because he took the head fake and fell in to Allen just as he was getting his shot off. Foul on Frazier is his first and the third team foul against Carolina. You know, Carolina's half-court defense has been extremely active. They are as quick and as intense as we've seen them, and that's great. The problem is they've picked up some cheap fouls that way. You've, you've just got to override, put your mind on override, and know that you cannot leave the ground. You're very rarely going to block a jump shooter's shot. You can block them inside. The first one is missed. First free throw by Allen is missed. You can block them inside, but you can, you will very rarely block a jump shooter shot. Former 5A player of the year in the state of Georgia back in 07. Sophomore out of Lawrenceville, GA. Next free throw by Allen is good. So it's 24 to 9. Carolina holding at 15 points with its lead. Drew giving it up to Davis. Now to Fraser on the left side. Fraser starts to drive against Summers. Bounce pass to Ellington. He looked for Thompson at the high post. Couldn't get it to him. Gets it outside to Drew. Drew driving in from the left. Had the ball knocked out of bounds, and it went out of bounds off Drew. And with that, another substitution for Michigan as Corey Lucius, a 5'11 sophomore from Milwaukee, is getting in the game, and Rowe sits down, Delvon Rowe. Woody, I'm not keeping a, a running total as far as possessions, but that can't be more than two or three possessions that Carolina's had with zero points. They've been so efficient offensively early on. Ball knocked away, but recovered. Now the double team is in. The ball gets thrown out of bounds, but Tom O'Neill, the referee, says it was last touched by Drew before going out of bounds, and Roy Williams up now on the elevated floor fielded that loose ball 
gave it back to referee O'Neill and said, I don't believe so. I, I think you missed that one. Ball to be inbounded from the wing. Michigan State gets it in on the right side. Now it's Walton working back out front against Fraser. Looking for Allen. Instead goes to the top of the foul circle now to Lucius. They get it away to Allen. Allen's jump shot is no good. Uh, Fraser had the rebound, lost it to Sutton, and he scores on a reverse layup. 24 to 11. Michigan State in double digits. Took them seven and a half minutes to get to 11 points. Now here's Wayne Ellington on the right side. Wayne going to the baseline, drives underneath. Reverse layup is no good. Sutton with a rebound. Clears it out to Lucius. Lucius coming down on the right to Allen on the left. In the corner, it goes to Walden. He drives, and Fraser's guilty of his second personal foul. So Fraser and Green have all of the four team fouls called against Carolina. Hansbro is coming back along with Lawson. And also back in is Kalen Lucas for Michigan State. Allen's going to the bench. Roy Williams will leave Bobby Fraser in with those two fouls a dangerous position to be in, but you don't have much choice at this point. I think he thinks he may be smart enough to play with him. He has so much basketball savvy. Sutton on the right of the key now. Dropped it off to Lucas. He'll give it now to Lucius, who's moving out in the midcourt area. Now Lucius matched up against Ellington, uses the Sutton screen to move right on the drive. Dumped it back. Lawson with a save at the baseline on another Michigan State turnover. Now Lawson down the right side. Drives the lane. Split the double team. Put up the shot. It didn't go, but there's a foul called on Michigan State. Six Spartan turnovers thus far, and we're going to have free throws. Ty Lawson's free throw is good. He's now got five in the game. He'll have another one coming at 25 to 16. The winner of the Bob Cousy Award as the best point guard in America. Raymond Felton also won that award. Two Tar Heels in the first six years of that award. And we got a whistle and a carrying violation. Whistle by Curtis Shaw. Curtis Shaw used to be an ACC referee before moving out into the Midwest and then working not only a lot of Big 12 games now, but Southeastern games as well. Carolina quickly front court. Hansbro down in the right side. Now to Fraser. Goes to Lawson. Lawson will move left. He's got Lucius matched up on him. Lawson's looking inside, trying to get some movement and an open Tariel off the ball. Hansbro down to Deion Thompson. Lays it up. Gets fouled by Sutton. Well, it's a great move because he had... He had sealed Sutton in the middle. There was very little he could do. He was just about right on the block. Took one step in, a little short baby hook with the right hand. Deion Thompson catching it and doing something with it. If there's been one downside to Deion, he takes a lot of time to do something with it. And tonight, he has been catch and get rid of it, which has turned out very nicely for him on three or four shooting from the field. Eric, I think you would agree a real upside of Carolina's play tonight would be the kind of start to continue that Deion Thompson has shown us. Absolutely, and he drains his third uh, free throw coming in tonight in the postseason play. He was shooting just 43% from the foul line, but tonight he's 3-3. Three three. Nine points thus far for the Torrance California Jr., and it's 29-11, to 11, Carolina's biggest lead of the game at 18. Now the Spartans have it in the right corner. It'll be Lucas getting it back up to the wing now. Now he takes it to the top of the key, takes an outside jump shot that is no good, and Deion Thompson comes down with a rebound. Off to Fraser. Quickly, the Tar Heels go left side. Here's Lawson from well out, no good, front of the rim. Took a very quick shot there. Down with a rebound comes Green, the freshman from Saginaw, who's back in the game for Michigan State. Lucas now on the left side for the green-clad Spartans. Now gets it down low to Green. Green turns off the baseline, rimmed out on the soft jumper, and Thompson with yet another rebound. And for Deion Thompson, I think he's gotten, well, the stat monitor shows him with two, but it seems like he's gotten more than that. And a leaner put in from the left side by Hansbro for his second field goal, 31-11, to 11, and a foul against Carolina at the other end. And it's on Wayne Ellington. Ellington charged with a foul. It'll be his first. And the fifth team foul against Carolina. Fraser and Thompson go out. And C.B. C. McGrath, the assistant coach, got up out of his chair, got on the elevated floor to congratulate Deion Thompson before he could get to the bench on the way he started. Here's the jumper. Allen out of the corner. No good. Oh, 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 yes. Green, I 
I thought for a second, Tony, whoa, whoa wait a minute. Tony Green is calling Hansbro for the back end. Now, not only is Roy Williams perplexed, but so is Steve Robinson on the Carolina bench. Number one on Hansbro, 16 foul against Carolina. Boy, it looked to everybody, I think even the Michigan State fans, that that was going to be on Green. Now the drop pass to Lucas, stolen away by Lawson. Hansbro gave it right back to him, takes it front court. Now Lawson down low to Tony Green and a reach in against the Spartans, and it's on Travis Walton. And it's a one-and-one one situation for the Tar Heels. Tar Heels are being stressed on defense. I mean, they've picked up a lot of fouls with Fraser having two, Green having two, Hansborough picking up one, but they're, and Ellington picking up one. But they're, being, they're, they're catching them from the perimeter, driving inside, minus the one of Hansborough. And it's the catch and immediate move to the middle, which is not allowing Carolina's defense to get set and then retreat back. It's so fast, it's hard for our guys to get their momentum shifted, and they're picking up that foul quickly. Ed Davis makes his first free throw. He's 8 of 16 in the postseason, Eric, shooting only 59% on the season. He'll have another shot, 32 to 11, Carolina. He's so valuable from the defensive standpoint. You talk to, misses his second, but you talk to Hansbro and what he means to him from a shot blocking perspective and what he means to this team is really a valuable portion of what his play is about. Lucas dropped it off to Walton. Lucas brings it, uh, Lucas gets it right back, brings it to the left wing. Now they get it to Allen, his outside shot's no good. Now the foul is on Draymond Green. That'll be his second. He and Sutron, both have two fouls for Michigan State, and so everybody will trek down to the other end of the elevated playing floor here at Ford Field where Tyler Hansbrough will be at the line for a second time tonight. Hope you caught inside Carolina basketball with Roy Williams over the weekend. We've got another one coming for you next weekend, but there will be no Roy Williams live on Monday. Well, this is Monday night, isn't it? Obviously, there's no Roy Williams live, and we're through with that series for yet another season. Sutan was on the bench. He's coming back in, and Gray is going to sit down. That is Marquise Gray, the 6'8 senior out of Flint, Michigan. Free throw is good. So it's now 34 to 11. Lucas brings it front court on the right side, gets to the top of the key, pushes it back to Allen. He looks down inside. Can't make the play to Green. Now out in the mid-court area, it's Allen. Off to Green, drops it to Summers. Summers tries to drive, gets the ball to Lucas, and his jumper's good. Kalen Lucas with his first field goal, and it's a two-pointer, 34-23. to Lawson gets it to Green at the other end. That's Carolina's Green. Now down low to Hansbro. Hansbro against Sutton. Jump pass out to Davis. Davis looking, bounced it right back to Hansbro. It's off to Davis. He'll use the glass. Good. Nice give and go from the high post speed from Davis to Hansbro. Hansbro back to Davis on the cut. Here's the jumper from the outside, and that's a three, I believe, by Summers. Darrell Summers knocks down the first, second three of the game. Sutton had one earlier. Missed shot. Davis with a rebound, and the dunk followed by Hansbro is going to be disallowed. He went after it when it was in the cylinder. 8.40 to play in the first half. Jones Angel is going to be in the Carolina crowd talking with some prominent Tar Heel personalities who are at the game tonight, so stick around for that, and there are any number of them here. And in case you haven't heard, Michael Jordan earlier today, one of the new selectees for the Naismith National Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield. He'll be the ninth Tar Heel representative in that august body. Jumper, missed. Rowe had a chance at the rebound. Saved before going out of bounds. They got it to Lucas. He drives underneath, and they're going to whistle a foul on Deion Thompson. Well, that's the kind of recipe for disaster that you see when you're talking about picking up a foul. An out-of-bounds fling from the baseline out to Lucas. Lucas catches it. Everybody's coming toward him. The entire North Carolina defense shifts, headed towards the ball, and Lucas goes straight down the gut. You just knew there was going to be a foul called at some point. Kind of glad to see it on one of the big players instead of another perimeter. 
Foul is up and foul shot is up and good by Lucas. He'll have another shot coming. I think a moment ago in some earlier action, I misidentified a foul that was, I believe, on Marquise Gray rather than Draymond Green. Both of them have one personal foul each. 36 to 17. Lucas with his second free throw, and that's good as well. He shoots 81% at the line, 21 of 24 in the postseason coming into tonight's game. 36 to 18. Bobby Frazier left side to Lawson. Now the partisan Michigan State crowd trying to get behind the Spartans. Lawson from the outside gives it to Thompson, right baseline, moves into the lane to fall away, way off the mark. Saved by Danny Green. To Ed Davis, soft shot up with the left hand is good. Danny Green was in the right place at the right time. He held it to keep from falling out of bounds and then dropped it to Ed Davis, who's been around the rim the entire night. 38 to 18, the score now. Carolina by 20. Now it's Lucius trying to get inside. Can't. Gives it off to Lucas. He spins away from Lawson. Lost the ball. Lawson recovered. Davis saved it on the floor. Got it to Fraser. Quickly to Lawson. Here come the Tar Heels on the run. Lawson to the baseline, then lost the ball out of bounds. It'll be off Michigan State. So Carolina will have the ball out of bounds when we resume play. 38 to 18, Carolina by 20, 7.33 left to play in the first half. Sutan will handle the inbounds. Carolina's coming back here now with Thompson, Hansbro, Green, Ellington, and Lawson, the starters in the game. Now handling the ball out front is Raymar Morgan. Got it right side. Dropped down inside by Lucas. And here's Sutan off the glass with the hook shot against Hansbro. Seven points for the Lansing, Michigan senior. 38 to 20. Deion Thompson to Ellington quickly left side. Here's Ellington top of the key driving. A little fall away is good from about 10 feet right of the lane. That has been one of the biggest additions to his game. And we got a whistle and a foul called. And Green was down. Also down is, I believe, Raymar Morgan from Remember, Michigan State. And he's still down. Didn't get up quickly at all. Remember, Morgan broke his nose in the game against Kansas, winning the Sweet 16, wearing a protective mask because of that. He's got the mask off and is rubbing his uh, face area. He is down right in front of us here at courtside. And as a side note, that foul was on green, which means that's his third. Boy, that is bad news right here in the Motor City. Well, and just not a very smart play, honestly, when you have two fouls. You, you can't go, uh, you admire the aggressiveness, but you don't want to go full bore uh, for a ball like that when you know that you're in a little bit of foul trouble. Bobby yeah. Fraser has already come in to replace him. The veteran Michigan State trainer, Tom Makowiak, has come over to attend to Raymar Morgan, and the junior from Canton, Ohio, who shared the team's MVP award last year, along with Drew Neitzel, has been helped up. He's going across court to the Michigan State bench to a burst of applause from this partisan Spartan crowd. Well, back to that foul again. As you said, Jones, not a smart play by Danny Green. There's very, I mean, the ball may have ended up out of bounds anyway. And you've got two fouls. You're going up against a guy like Raymar Morgan, who's 6'8". He's got athleticism coming out of his ears. And you're going to try and out jump him in a head-on collision and think that you're going to walk away without a foul. Chris Allen is one, shoots one and one at the line, but he misses the first one, and Deion Thompson comes down with a rebound. Tar Heels go the other way. It's Lawson on the left side. Playing off of him now is Lucas. He'll give it to Ellington. Long outside shot. Good. Oh, oh a high arcing three from right in front of the Michigan State bench. Ellington with 12. My and a timeout goodness. has been asked for by the Spartans. Whoa, I think I'd call one now, too. 6.45 left to play in the first half, 43-20. to 20. Carolina on top of the Spartans, and Michigan State will inbound the ball. Sutan gets it to Lucas. He'll get it across the timeline. Allen's his running mate right now in the backcourt. Walton's also in there, and he comes out to the high post. Now gets a pass over, and it's off Lucas' hands out of bounds. That's the 10th turnover of the first half for Michigan State, and the Tar Heels have scored 13 points thus far off Michigan State turnovers. Six and a half minutes left to play in the first 20 as Lawson takes it right side on the right-handed dribble. Crossover, gets it off to the cutting Ellington, drops it down low to Hansbro. He backs in off the baseline. Ball knocked away, saved it. That's against Delvon Rowe. Now to Lawson. Lawson on the right wing. 
He'll come back up top, got by Rowe, top of the key. Pass to Thompson. He'll use the glass. No good, a little too strong. Michigan State running the other way. Angling across to the right side is Lucas. Now he gets the ball to Allen. Allen comes to the left side, bounces it down low to Sutton. Fumbled it, recovered now into the lane against Thompson. The hook is good. Caught the back of the rim and fell in. Sutton's got nine for Michigan State. He's a very talented offensive player, very crafty inside. 43 to 22. Carolina by 21. Ellington now on the right side. Well out, looking for help. Got it to Thompson. Thompson looking for somebody cutting through. Now he'll give it to Lawson on the right side. Lawson got by Sutton. Now he'll drive in the lane, takes it in. Up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Michigan State and thrown away by Walton. Right into Fraser's hands. Fraser front court, baseline and a travel has been called on Deion Thompson and that'll send it the other way. That's Carolina's fourth turnover of the game and Roy Williams a bit perplexed by that. No, a better expression would be disgusted from the look on his face. 43 to 22, 520 left in the half. Now across the timeline is Corey Lucius who's back in for Michigan State. Tom Izzo's played a lot of people here in the first half, find a, trying to find a good combination. Jumper by Sutton is no good. Ellington's got the rebound. Waits for traffic to clear. Now we'll bring it front court on his own dribble. Hands it off to Lawson. Lucius is right there on him defensively for Michigan State. Now Lawson starts left, drops it off to Hansbro. Hansbro squares up against Rowe. Looks for Thompson, couldn't get him the ball to Frazier. He looked off Lawson. Here's Ellington from the right side. Good, another long bomb by the junior from Wynwood, Pennsylvania. And he's got 15 in the first half, 46 to 22. Here's Lucas to Allen. Allen wanted to drive, but Ellington is there defensively. Now Allen moves up the sideline on the left, picked up his dribble in trouble, got it to Sutton. Sutton off to Lucius. Lucius with a long outside jumper for Michigan State, and it's good. 76% of that young man's shots are for beyond the arc. He draws Michigan State within 21. 4.15 4.15 to play in the half. Lawson now, bounce pass, down low to Hansbro. Hansbro turns on road, doesn't take the shot. Again, shows him his backside. Now to Lawson. Lawson will try to get in the lane, spins away. Hansbro, face-up jumper, good! From just right of the key. That's his third field goal and seventh point. 48-25. to 25. Allen, got by Thompson, moving across the top of the key. Off to Lucius. Now Lucia's trying to get inside. We'll take another outside jumper. No good. Sutton up with it. Ball got knocked away out of bounds. Carolina bench thought it was off Sutton, but it's going to be awarded to Michigan State. Michigan State's coming back with Raymar Morgan, Draymond Green, also Travis Walton, Goran Sutton, and the other one is Corey Lucius. Sutton takes the inbounds pass, looking for some help. Finally got it out to Walton. Walton in the midcourt area against Fraser. Fraser playing him with two fouls. Got to be very, very careful. Here's the bounce pass going now to Lucius. Long outside three. Good. Lucius knocks down a second outside bomb, and it's 48 to 28. Down once by 24. Michigan State is closed to within 20. Davis hands it off to Fraser. Fraser drops it to Drew. The bounce pass comes to Ellington. Ellington faking, trying to get his shot. Jumper is going to be way short. Ball loose on the floor. Sutton out with it. Now to Lucius. Lucius coming front court. In the corner, it goes to Morgan. Morgan will come back out front to Sutton. Back door, and we get a blocking foul called on Zeller. Walton ran into him, and the foul on Zeller will be the ninth team foul against Carolina. So there's a bonus situation coming now for the defensive player of the year in the Big Ten. Travis Walton, the 6'2 senior from Lima, Ohio. You know, it's interesting, Jones, you said it, how how we'll do with this lineup. And the first one goes down for Travis Walton, an outstanding player for Michigan State. But our offense, I think our offense could really struggle here because Davis is not a guy that's going to be able to catch and generate his own offense. He's got to have it fed to him and moved. Also, Ellington is the only outside perimeter scoring threat that's on the floor right now, so Michigan State can really eyeball him. And uh, it's going to be very interesting how we do. I understand trying to get these guys some rest, protect a little bit of foul trouble, but you got four of your five starters off the court right now. That's a tough situation to be in. This Michigan State crowd senses now that this is the chance for the Spartans to try to make a run with 
At least five players on the floor for Carolina. Lob pass to Ed Davis. Davis trying to get away from the defender. Turns baseline, puts up a shot too strong. Rebounded by Summers for Michigan State. Lucius to Walton down the left side. Back out to Lucius. Lucius to the top of the key. Tries to drive. Hit Summers with it. Long outside shot. No good. Zeller's going to get called for another foul on Ray Martin Morgan. No! It's going to be on Morgan for reaching around and grabbing Zeller's jersey on the rebound. And that is number two on Morgan. Well, I'm going to quit trying to anticipate that'll what's put, about to be called. It puts Zeller at the line and two free throws. Zeller's got two. He's 0 of 1 in the postseason, but he came into the postseason shooting 86%. He hasn't shot very many. <laughs> that number sounds fantastic, and it is, but he hasn't shot a whole lot. Former Mr. Basketball from Indiana misses the first one. And he'll have another shot. Hansbro is back. Lawson is back. Davis and Drew go out. Had to do it. I think if you're Carolina, you have to get those guys back in. Can't afford to allow Michigan State to, to get a spurt here before the break. Yeah, you don't want them to have any momentum going into halftime. Zeller's free throw is good on the next one. So that's his first point of the national championship. So he'll be in the box score. Yes, indeed. Welcome Two, back. 2.30 remaining to be played in the first half. Thompson is back along with Ellington. Now across the timeline comes Lucius. Works against Fraser on the right. Now here's Fraser trying to stick with Walton as they run the outside curl. Now the back door and a charge has been called on Draymond Green, and that will be his second foul. I tried to give it to him a lot earlier than that when it was on Marquise Gray, so that'll give the ball to Carolina. That is the 12th turnover of the first half for Michigan State, a team that came in averaging nearly 14 a game. Here's Lawson trying to drive into the lane. Can't get through. Back out to Frazier. Quick pass over to Hansborough on the right. Hands it off to Lawson on the right side. Lawson now will try to take Lucius into the middle. Couldn't get the shot away. Lawson got hit in the eye, the left eye, and he had to take the timeout because of it. And Deion Thompson's asking Curtis Shaw. Didn't you see that? I think he's fine, first of all. He looks like he just couldn't see where to pass it. Instead of risking a turnover, took a timeout. But he looks to be fine. Mature move there by Deion Thompson. Coming out of the break, he went to the officials and said, guys, sorry about that. I lost my cool a little bit as he was very frustrated that no foul had been called. He apologized for uh, letting his emotions get the better of him. Everybody smiled, and we're back to playing. Well, if you don't care, you aren't competing, are you? Fraser's going to inbound from the baseline. Got it in the corner to Lawson. Hansborough was well out, almost in the center jump circle. Now he's setting a screen. Lawson's going to drive to the baseline. We got a whistle and a foul has been called on Corey Lucius. And now Tom Izzo is working referee Tom McNeil over that call. The foul on Lucius is first. And so two free throws upcoming for Lawson with 145 remaining in the first half. And again, we're going to send our man in Ford Field <laughs> up into the stands you know, at halftime. It's an interesting... Lawson's first free throw is good. It's an interesting play that has occurred now three times where Lawson has had that left side empty out and he takes a left-handed dribble to the baseline. All three of those have had good results. Interesting to see if that happens again. 51-30, to 30, a 21-point Carolina lead here with 140 to play. Michigan State wearing green tonight. In the front court, jumper, outside jumper, banked off the glass by Kalen Lucas for his second field goal. 51 to 32. Here's Lawson, midcourt area, working right side. Hands it off to Ellington. Hansbro nearly knocked down from behind by Draymond Green. Hansbro drives, puts up the shot, no good. But the foul is on Michigan State. And the foul is on Draymond Green. And that'll be his third. And Tyler Hansbrough will go to the line for a couple of free throws. Thus far in the first half, Carolina 13 of 17 at the line. Make it now 14 of 18. I think Draymond Green was at the point where he was going to pick up a foul on that possession. And what I mean by that is that he was being so physical with Hansbro and Hansbro had his hands out in front of him and when a referee sees that and sees the offensive player push out of position to the point where he loses his balance Hansbro has made his second free throw 
then their eyes instantly are attracted to that. Then Hansborough got the ball and went into him, and I think that it's just it's almost an inevitable situation for a defensive player under those circumstances. 118 left to play first half, 53 to 32. Hansborough five of six from the line. Lucius out front against Drew. Starts to the right, comes left to Lucas. Ball stolen away by Lawson. Out front on the run out to Wayne Ellington for the two-handed jam. Michigan State turnover number 13. 17 in the first half for Wayne Ellington on seven of nine shooting. He's made all three of his outside bombs. Less than a minute to play in the half. Now Lucas on the drive. Pull up from the baseline is good. Over the top of Deion Thompson. Kalen Lucas with eight for Michigan State. 55 to 34. Carolina's biggest lead in the half, 24 points. It's now at 21, 55-34. Now the Tar Heels got about a second or two differential between game clock and shot clock. So they're going to hold it as long as they can. They're going to work for a good shot. Get one here as the clock's about to expire if they can. Now here's Lawson. Couldn't drive. On Lucius, going to try again. Now comes back out front over to the left side. Reverses to Hansbro. Face-up jumper, no good. Came up short. Rebounded by Roof. Stolen right back by Lawson. Throws it from the backcourt. It misses the backboard off to the right side. And that is the end of the first half. And the Tar Heel fans are on their feet cheering here at Ford Field. And the Michigan State fans are trying to get the license number of the truck that ran over the Spartans in the first half. On the Blue Point scoreboard, Carolina 55, Michigan State 34. Carolina coming out with its usual starting lineup. Tyler Hansbro, Deion Thompson, Danny Green along the front line, Wayne Ellington and Ty Lawson in the backcourt. Michigan State is going to send out Darrell Summers to start the second half. Boy, Delvon Rowe has just been invisible tonight. Walton. Controlling the basketball, got it to Summers. He looks down inside. Also, Lucas is in the lineup along with Sutan and Raymar Morgan. Ball is lost, 15th Michigan State turnover. Long lead pass to Dan- Danny Green trying to run it down. He slapped it right back into Walton's hands. And here go the Spartans the other way. Walton down on the right side. Bounce pass inside. Sutan layup off the glass is good. Sutan in double figures for the 18th time this season on his fifth field goal, and it's 55 to 36. Lawson on the right side, top of the key to Thompson, right back it goes to Lawson. Lawson now trying to get into the lane, shoots a runner that is no good, but he got fouled on the play. Tony Green is working with Curtis Shaw and Tom O'Neill spotting the foul. And it's on Kalen Lucas, and that's his first and the first team foul of the second half against the Spartans. And Ty Lawson will be going to the line. He took a spill, went hard to the portable playing floor as he was off balance and just throwing up that shot in the midst of getting fouled. Free throw, good. Not to be understated, the amount of pressure that Lawson has put on Lucas in the first half and certainly seven steals, what a number. But it has not all been on Lucas, and, and, uh, but he has been right in front of him the entire time. Second free throw goes down. Both free throws good, and it's 57-36. How about Travis Walton, Eric? He did not take a single shot in the first half. Now he's a guy that had eight assists and only two points against UConn. Got another foul called against the Spartans. And as important as Travis Walton is to this team, he is not always a guy who scores. So certainly a number that I'm sure Michigan State would like to see change, but not all that drastic if you're Michigan State. That is foul number three on Raymar Morgan, and he goes to the bench. And head coach Tom Izzo, the 54-year-old basketball boss in East Lansing, stops and has a rather animated conversation with him. Now he's asking him something about what's happening out on the floor right now with Michigan State's efforts to stop Carolina. Lawson got the ball to Hansbro. Hansbro faces up on Sutan, takes the jumper. No good. Delvon Rose in the lineup now, sort of muscled Deion Thompson out of there. Here's Walton on the drive, missed the shot. Hansbro's got the rebound. He'll hand it off to Lawson. Lawson will push it quickly front court on the angle to the right side. Now the bounce pass to Ellington. Ellington will try to drive right side, takes it all the way in, tried to scoop it up, and Rose slapped it out of bounds. So it'll be Carolina ball at the baseline, and Danny Green's going to handle the inbounds play. Danny was on the bench for about the final seven minutes of the first half with three personal fouls. He pushes it in to Thompson. 
Thompson waiting for Danny to come get it, and he does on the left side. Motions everybody away, gives it to Hansbro. Turn around, good, right over the top of Sutan. Tyler Hansbro with 13. This is his 31st double-figure scoring game tonight for the ACC's all-time leading scorer. He is 45 points shy coming into this game, Eric, of 3,000 for his career. Well, he missed that face-up on Sutan just a moment ago from the exact same spot, went back to it on the turnaround and made it. Walton feeds it off in the corner, and the long jumper is no good. Sutan overran the rebound, and it fell to Hansbro. Now to Lawson coming front court. Hansbro back to, gets it back from Lawson. Now moving to the right side, off to Ellington. Ellington. Feeds it to Hansbro. Hansbro trying to drive. Sutan is there. Hansbro dumps it back out to Lawson at the top of the foul circle. Now he moves against Walton to the left side. Starts right, comes left again. Now reverses the ball back to Hansbro. We got a travel called on Hansbro. Hansbro slaps his head like, boy, that was not very smart of me to try that. And so it's going to be Michigan State ball on the turnover, and that's number six for Carolina. Second here in the first two and a half minutes of the second half. Walton now setting up the Michigan State offense. He'll get away to the left side. Now to Lucas. Lucas trying to penetrate. Shoots a runner that is no good. Rebounded by Hansbro. Hansbro will push the ball away to Lawson. Lawson front court on the right side. Lawson drops it down inside to Thompson. He turns, shoots, can't score. Ball knocked up in the air and Thompson gets called for the foul. That will be number two on the Torrance California Junior, the first team foul of the second half against Carolina. Boy, Williams a little upset, I think, with a play that the Tar Heels tried to run. So here comes Walton, front court now for the Spartans. He'll hand it off to the cutting Summers. Now gets it away to Lucas. Lucas across the top of the key, back to Sutan. Hansbro gets on him quickly. Now it's Summers. He'll try to drive on Green. Takes it all the way in, up off the glass, and scores. That has to be a plan for Michigan State as to why Summers in the game. He's a very good player. He's come off of a big game at UConn. Danny Green has three fouls. You've got to go at him. Now here's Lawson giving it up to Hansbro, top of the key. Now to Lawson. Lawson right back to Hansbro. Face-up jump shot. No good. Ball bounds high. Taken out of the air by Delvon Rowe for Michigan State. Here is Walton. Tried to get the ball to Summers on the alley-oop and threw it away. And Tom Izzo said, guys, let's settle down. Let's be a little more patient on what we're doing here. Well, Chris Allen has come in now, and Walton's going to the bench. He lost a lot of time last year. His minutes, his scoring, everything about it dropped because he was bothered throughout the season, or most of the season, by a torn stomach muscle. But he came back this year to be the defensive player of the year in the Big Ten. Now here's Lawson trying to get across the top of the key. He does. Hands it off to the cutting Ellington. Ellington on a very forceful drive. Moves to the left wing. Got it to Ed Davis. Sutton's well out on him. Now to Frazier. Now to Lawson. Now Lawson indicates the shot clock is down to 7, 6, 5, 4. Here's Lawson tried to drive. Feeds Hansbro. He'll shoot the 3. No good. It hit the back of the iron. Sutton with a rebound for Michigan State. Now to Lucas. Lucas front court for Michigan State. 21 point Carolina lead, 59 38. Lucas drops it in the right corner. Here's the drive by Summers out to Sutan. He shoots the long three. Good. His second of the game. Goran Sutan. A bit of a dry spell for North Carolina's offense. And up to that point, Michigan State had not been able to score, but they just put it. Put it down that time with Sutons. Ellington on the drive, shoots a runner that rolled off the rim into Summers' hands. Lawson with a steal on the outlet pass by Summers, intended for Lucas. Now Lawson in the right corner, gets it down to Ed Davis. Davis up for the shot, scores and got fouled. What a play by Lawson. I mean, he turned and spun on a dime to grab that ball and deflect it and turn it into a basket on the other end for Davis. Foul is on Sutton, and that will be number three on the Lansing, Michigan senior who was born and grew up in Bosnia. And with that, we got a timeout on the floor as Tom Izzo is trying to cite his frustration with some of the officials right now. 14.55 left in the game. It's a 20-point Carolina lead, 61-41. Missed free throw by Ed Davis. Couldn't convert to three-point play. Sutton down with a rebound. And for Sutan, I think that's his eighth rebound of the game. 
Michigan State with a basketball. Lucius now coming across the top of the key, down to the baseline. Jumper is short. Rowe with the rebound and the follow, and he scores, and he gets fouled by Ellington. Foul on Wayne Ellington is his second. Delvon Rowe gets his first basket of the game, and he'll go to the line with a chance for the three-point play, and it's 61 to 43. What was once a 24-point Carolina lead is now down to 18. Rowe is only a 46% shooter at the line, and he can't get the free throw down, and Ed Davis just reaches up and snatches it down with his left hand. Fraser out front to Davis. Over on the right side now to Ellington. Ellington faked a pass inside against Allen. Gives it off to Davis. Now back to Ellington. The jump shot is no good. They crash the boards. Ball knocked around. Loose basketball saved by Rowe. Got it to Allen. Here come the Spartans. Three on two break. Lucius on the right side. Long three. No good. Davis with yet another rebound. He gets the outlet to Lawson. Lawson will angle toward the left side. Now goes down left. And we got a whistle and a foul on Michigan State. And the foul is going to be on Corey Lucius. And that'll be his second and the second team foul against the Spartans. And Carolina will inbound the ball from the baseline. So hard for a player to keep Lawson in front of him. And then as soon as you get behind him or he gets a shoulder, you are in trouble playing catch up. Well, Carolina spreads its offense out a bit. Now Lawson gives it to Fraser on the left side against Lucius. Back to Lawson. Lawson on the drive, takes it all the way in. Dropped it off to hands, bro. He tried to get the shot, and he got hammered on the play by Delvon Rowe. Rowe is second personal foul, third team foul Michigan State, and Hansbro will be at the line where he was five of six in the first half for his 11 points. He now has 13 and five rebounds to go along with him. Free throw is no good. So he'll have another one coming. Depth perception or whatever, the Tar Heels have not been as good at the line as they have been throughout most of the season based on what they did against Villanova on Saturday night. But Hansbro connects on his second foul shot, so he's 6 of 8. Here's the outside shot. No good by Allen. Ball tapped outside to Lawson. Here comes Lawson on the run all the way through. Puts it up. It won't go. Davis tapped it. Couldn't knock it away. Rebounded or recovered by Michigan State. And Bobby Fraser reaches back to try to stop Kalen Lucas on his drive. And I think Fraser just got assessed his third personal foul. And that will be the second team foul against Carolina here in the second half. Looked like Green and Thompson were ready to go in. And Kalen Lucas will be at the line to take some foul shots. Big Ten Player of the Year out of Sterling Heights, Michigan. Misses the first one. Well, maybe it's a depth perception because Michigan State's having some problems at the line as well. They're 6 of 11. Carolina is 18 of 24. Well, when the backdrop is six miles east or west, you <laughs> got a little problem with depth perception. And there are people yeah. sitting in that backdrop. Next free throw. That is good. That ball. Well, he got a lucky bounce on it. Let me put it that way. He's three of four at the line. That's 62 to 44, an 18-point Carolina lead. Lawson to Green on the right side. Now Green to the wing. The lob down low to Hansbro. Hansbro at the baseline. Now moving up the side. He's got Green behind him. Now got it to Lawson. Lawson turning, trying to get free. Comes back to the top of the key. Can't get the shot away. Now looking for some help. Takes the outside shot. No good. Hansbro or Fraser with a save to Green. To Lawson. Into the lane. Bounce pass. Back out. Green trying to get it. And we got a tie up in the alternating possession error. We'll go to Carolina with 29 seconds on the shot clock. Fraser has come up big. You remember five offensive rebounds last game versus Villanova. That time he caught it, and I think he may have gotten away with a little travel as he hopped before he fell out of bounds and punched that ball back out to the one of the guys in white. Carolina's going to inbound from the right wing. It'll be green. Dropped it into Lawson. Lawson against Lucius. Now comes to Fraser. Fraser has Summers on him. Got a screen from Thompson. Moves to the left wing. Looking for Hansbro down low. They can't get him the ball. He's got Draymond Green on his backside. Gets it, now turns off the baseline. Can't get the jumper. Green down with a rebound. 
The outlet goes to Allen. Quick pass over to Summers on the drive, and he scores. Carolina's offense is really looking bad right now because they are not they are not using their plays to get it. They're ending up with Lawson out high trying to run a small screen and roll. Michigan State crowd getting back into it. Carolina lead is down to 16. Frazier to Lawson, left side. Lawson looking for Thompson. Gets in the ball. Thompson against Sutan, moving up off the glass. Too strong with it. Ball away out of bounds, saved, but it was out of bounds. Last touch by Lucius. Lucius, it's going to be Carolina ball on the side. And with that, Raymar Morgan is coming back for Michigan State, and Sutan will get a burrito. Well, I would certainly consider this part of a Michigan State run, and they have been quick at it, having started as soon as the ball came in. Green's going to get the inbounds pass to Lawson on the left side. Davis sets the screen. Lawson goes left, feeds Danny Green, pops the shot. Good! A three for Danny Green. His second basket of the night. Both have been threes, 65 to 46. Here is Allen. Misses the shot. Follow no good by Draymond Green, and he's fouled on the play. And I believe, well, we'll check on it because we're going to get a timeout right now. An official break in the action. 11.47 left in tonight's championship game. North Carolina with a 65-46 lead over Michigan State. Heels by 19, but uh, we mentioned the poor shooting this half, and the Tar Heels much more playing in the half court this half and just been, hadn't been able to get good shots out of that half court set. Uh, at this point in the game, in the first half, Michigan State already had seven turnovers. Right now, they've, they've only had two this half, and neither one of them have turned into points for Carolina, so much of that offense has been taken away. Now they have had to rely on their half court ability. First one by Green is falls off. Uh, his free throw, that is. But Carolina's got to do more. Tyler Hansborough is settling for a turnaround jump shot. He's now out of the game, having been replaced by Deion Thompson, Ed Davis. But uh, it's an important thing, and, and we're not doing it. Draymond Green made the second free throw. So it's 65-47 with 11.40 left to play here at Ford Field in Detroit. Carolina comes front court with it. Lawson will give it up to Fraser. That goes to Thompson. Thompson's got Green in front of him. He dribbles to the left of the key. Now gets it to Lawson. Lawson looking for Green. Got it. Green spins baseline. Goes down. Got it to Thompson. He dropped the ball. They scramble for it. Loose ball knocked away by Frazier. They go to the deck battling for it. And a foul has been called, I think, on Ed Davis. Yes. They whistled a foul on Ed Davis for going in and jumping on top of the Michigan State player in an effort to tie the ball up. That's a quick second foul on the Richmond freshman and the fifth team foul against Carolina. Well, Deion Thompson's got to catch that ball. Carolina ran a play to perfection. Green went baseline, had a little bounce pass to Deion, and he just had trouble holding on to it, and that's what caused the loose ball wood. It's now Ellington will come in, and Fraser will check out. That's like somebody else came out of the locker room wearing the number 21 jersey that Deion had used in the first half. And certainly Michigan State's going to make changes so that they do not allow him to, to get a, get away with what he did in the first half early. Here's Lucas moving down on the drive, feeds it away. The jumper by Lucius is no good. Rebound by Sutan is back in the game. He hits Lucas with it, goes to the baseline, had trouble controlling it, and lost it out of bounds. And that's the 19th turnover of the game for Michigan State. And I think that's going to be the fifth turnover that Lucas has had, and that one was unprompted. Davis is out, and Hansbro comes back for Carolina. 11 minutes to play in the national championship game. Lawson moving to the left wing. He'll lob it down to Ellington inside. Ellington into the lane, turns on Lucas, shoots, can't score, and the foul is on Kalen Lucas. We haven't seen that very often where Ellington's in the post, but he was that time on a much smaller Lucas taking advantage of that mismatch. Check it. It's on Raymar Morgan, and that's his fourth. Lucas looked like the guilty party as he pleaded his effort, but it was instead on Morgan. That's the fourth team foul to be called against Michigan State. Free throw good by Wayne Ellington. That's his first point of the second half and first free throw of the night. He's got 18 for Carolina, 66 to 47. Ellington ready again, 77% free throw shooter, and made that one. And with that... 
Green is coming in and Raymar Morgan is going out. So Green will drop it into Lucas and Lucas will work at front court. Backpedaling into the forecourt to pick him up is Ty Lawson. Here's the drive by Lucas, feeds down low, shots up and it's good and there's a foul on Thompson, I believe. Tom O'Neill counting the basket and then showing us personal number three on Deion Thompson. And that's the sixth team foul against the big forward. And Draymond Green got the basket. And he'll get a chance for the three-point play and an effort to pull Michigan State within 17, which he does. It's so easy to lose your focus when you've got such a big lead. And it looks like some of Carolina has done that. Now it's Ellington who has it on the right side. Looking down low, got it to Green. Green on the right baseline, trying to get into the lane. Gives it now to Hansbro. Hansbro powers up, can't score. Ball knocked off at the outside. Saved by Ellington. Just inside the forecourt. Lob to Lawson. Lawson trying to get through. And a blocking foul called on. Was it Green or Lucas or Walton? It was Walton. Walton got his second, and that's the fifth team foul. Whistled on. I beg your pardon, 17th foul. Whistled on Michigan State. And Lawson makes his first. He'll have another one. Interesting, Lawson's points. He's only 1 of 7 from the field, but he is 8 of 9. 8 of you 10. You had to go say line. something, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> 68 to 50. 10 minutes to play. We're in the midpoint of the second half in this national championship game. Kalen Lucas with a jump shot for two. Now, Tom Izzo wants backcourt pressure. Lawson spins away from Lucas. Gets front court. Goes by Green. Down in the corner. Baseline. Tried to get it to Thompson. Whistle and a foul on Michigan State. That foul is on Travis Walton, and it is his third and the eighth team foul. And so Deion Thompson will be at the line for his first free throws of the second half. And Deion's got to be very careful in that situation because you've got a defender so close. He misses the free throw. Danny Green with the rebound, Woody. Yeah, Green tapped it too hard off the glass and trying to keep it alive or get the rebound, and it went right to Danny Green. Now Lawson gives it up to Hansbro. Hansbro takes a look down inside. Gives it to Green on the wing. Green trying to get into the lane. Stops, pops, rimmed out. Wouldn't go down. Ball got knocked out of bounds, and there's a foul. That'll be four on Deion Thompson, I believe. Gentlemen. It is. That is number four. He's fouled out of only one game this season. That's also the seventh team foul against Carolina. So Michigan State is in the bonus. Roy Williams' arms folded, standing on the elevated playing floor here at Ford Field. Not a very happy camper at the moment. Well, Deion Thompson picked up three fouls in nine minutes, and none of them have been worth a cent. Raymond Green knocks down his first free throw. Young man lost 30 pounds as a freshman at Michigan State. Misses the second one, and Ed Davis has got the rebound. Ed will clear it away to Ellington now. Walton is there. Ellington gets it across the timeline. The defense is picked up for Michigan State. Lawson dribbles into the top of the key. Off it goes to Green. Now it comes back to Lawson. Walton trying to put some heat on him. Lawson dribbles around Sutton. Got in the lane. Dropped it off to Hansbro. And he scores on the layup. But he got the pass. Instead of going right up to dunk it, he put it on the floor to gather himself. But he makes it 70 to 53. Nine minutes to play. Lucas, top of the key. Lucas got it to Sutton, fumbled it, controlled it. Here's Allen, top of the key. No good. Long rebound, knocked outside. Allen trying to run it down, saved it near the 10 second strike. Now he'll give it middle of the floor to Lucas. Now Lucas sets up the 1 4 attack for Michigan State. Here's Allen trying to drive on Danny Green. Green won't let him through. Gives the ball back outside to Lucas in the center jump circle. Now Lucas backing in. Ty Lawson. The jump shot is no good, but the rebound gathered in by Green. Off to Allen. His jumper no good. They go after the rebound, and Carolina Wayne Ellington comes away with it. 
70-53. Long shots equal long rebounds. Carolina was unable to get their hand on a couple of them. Here's Lawson. Bounce pass. Going now to Hansbro. Hansbro will give it right back to Lawson. Lawson now drops it to Hansbro. Hansbro looking. He'll give it outside to Danny Green. Green drops it down to Ed Davis. Turns with a left hand and scores. Right over the top of Draymond Green and for Ed Davis. That's 11 points, his eighth double-figure scoring game of the season. 72-53, 19-point Carolina lead. Lucas in the midcourt area, in the corner to Allen, goes down the baseline, and Ed Davis was there and gets charged with a foul. He went up, was going to try to block the shot. Instead, he gets charged with his third foul, all of which have come in the second half. That'll be the eighth team foul against Carolina. And right now, we got a timeout on the floor. Game clock shows 7.33 to play here in Detroit. And Carolina is leading by 19. It's Michigan State's using five to guard four. They're going to leave Hansborough unguarded at the baseline as he gets the ball. And he got it in to Ed Davis, and Davis got fouled immediately by Delvon Rowe. And that will be his third personal and the ninth team foul. So they'll have Davis at the foul line. And I know why they're trying to foul him as soon as he gets it. He's a 59% free throw shooter who's gone one of three tonight. Yeah, that was on purpose. I mean, Michigan State made that foul to try to get the extra possession. We'll see if uh, Ed can hit down some big, big free throws. First one's on its way. No good. Rebounded by Sutan. Sutan for the Spartans now gets it front court to Lucas. Lucas on the drive now down the lane. Scooped it up, got fouled by Davis, and that's his fourth. Davis tried to come over and help when it looked like that Lucas might get all the way to the rim. And when he did, he made contact, and there'll be two free throws coming as Lucas was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, we're either going to see Deion Thompson go back in or we're going to see well, we're going to end up seeing Bobby Fraser come in, I'm guessing, for Ed Davis, and I was thinking Zeller might get a peek. Free throw is good by Lucas. They'll put another ball handler in with Fraser. So he's now four of five at the line, has 12 points on the night. Davis goes to the bench, and we'll chart that at the 723 mark. Still lots of time left here in Detroit. Lead that was once 24 for Carolina in the first half is now 16 and could go to 15 if this free throw drops in. And it does not. Run down by Lawson in the corner. Now Lawson will bring it front court against Lucius. Lawson across the timeline. Well out in the midcourt area. Lucius right there on him. Here comes Lawson driving down the lane. Feeds to Hansbro and... Curtis Shaw said there was a block on the play, and you could hear the contact from here. Lucius away to Lucas. He drives, feeds corner, jump shot on the way. No good. They battle for the rebound, and Hansbro's got it. Again, Sutan overran the rebound, got his hands on it, but could not control it. 6.50 to play. Lawson, midcourt area, will give it up to Green on the left. He took a look at Hansbro cutting through, went back outside to Lawson. Lawson looking now. Hansbro sets a screen for him. Lawson with a bounce pass to Hansbro. Sutan's on him. Hansbro trying to get free. Finally forces the ball up and it goes in. He was double teamed on the play. Just kept working and working with it for his 18th point of the night. 74-56. 6-15 to play as Lucas feeds Sutan. Jumper from the left corner. Good. That's his third three of the night. And Tom Izzo has just whistled a Michigan State timeout. Timeout, Michigan State. 74 to 59. It's a 15-point Carolina lead with 6-11 to play. Now they're feeling like they've got a little something going. Yeah, Michigan State again, five to guard four. Green, however, got it into Hansbro. He'll hand it off to Lawson. Now he runs by a pick set in the backcourt by Hansbro. Takes it to the right side. Lucas is there. Lawson gives it up to Green on the bounce pass down the right sideline. Green out front now to Ellington. Ellington has got Summers on him. Looked off Fraser on the left side. Now he'll put the ball on the floor. Comes back now. Gives it to Lawson as he moves left. Lawson now will try to work on Walton. Lawson into the lane. Open for the shot. Got the roll off the back of the rim. Ty Lawson's second field goal of the game. 
76 to 59. Lucas front court with five and a half minutes to play. Now it's Walton in the midcourt area moving by a Sutan pick to go right. Gave it up to Sutan, gets it right back. Puts up a high arcing jump shot that was an air ball saved inside by Morgan. We got a slap of skin and a foul has been called down low on Carolina and it's on Hansbro and that'll be his second. And Raymar Morgan will go to the line on the 10th team foul. So Michigan State's in the double bonus here over the last five minutes and 20 seconds. Roy Williams has come all the way out and that catcher's crouch now right at the edge of the coach's box. Free throw is good by Morgan. That's his third point of the game. From the field in this game tonight, he is one of two. He'll have another free throw coming. Austin Thornton comes into the game in replace of Darrell Summers. Morgan's next free throw is good also. So that makes it 76-61. It's a 15-point lead. Ball inbounded to Hansbro. He'll give it to Lawson. Lawson now against Lucas. Gets the ball front court. Now in the midcourt area. Goes and drives and scooped up a shot. No good. And Hansbro knocked it out of bounds. No foul on the play, says Curtis Shaw. As Lawson hit the deck and was asking Mr. Shaw if there wasn't a foul on the play. And he said no. So here's Michigan State. The run is not over by the Spartan. Lucas across the timeline. Lawson is there. Now Lucas will try to drive. Moves right side and bumped by Hansbro. And they're letting murder and mayhem get away at the other end of the floor. And they're calling bumps out front against the Tar Heels. That's a third on Hansbro. And Michigan State will go to the line. And it's going to be Kalen Lucas and Austin Thornton, a 6'5 freshman from Sand Lake, Michigan has now come into the, or beg your pardon. Yes, Austin Thornton is now in the Michigan State lineup. Lucas arches the first one up, and it's good. He got the bounce off the front of the rim. Well, Carolina, and some of these fouls have certainly been touchy. Carolina can't foul. I mean, Michigan State is being able to get chances to score with the clock stopped, and with the clock now at 4.57, Wood, it's the last thing the Heels want to do. Thornton is out as Summers returns to the Michigan State lineup. Another free throw coming for Lucas, who's got 13 points tonight. Make it 14, and it's a 14-point Carolina lead, at, or 13 points, at 76 to 63. And the Michigan State crowd is right back in it. It's going to make it even more imperative for Carolina to get some offensive work. They've got, but they've got to do it defensively as well, but they're not getting an opportunity. We're sending them to the line all the time. You've got to do something to squelch this. Just under five minutes to play, and a pushing foul has been called. And down injured for the Spartans is Corey Lucius. And I think he may have turned an ankle when that foul was committed. That's his third personal, and it'll be the 10th team foul against Michigan State. So the Tar Heels will be in the double bonus the rest of the way. Roy Williams got the Tar Heels huddled around him. A little bit out on the floor here on this elevated playing surface at Ford Field. And they're listening intently while, meanwhile, the Spartans are around their teammate, hoping that Corey Lucius is not injured so that he'll have to leave the game. Now, I, we did not see. Excuse me, Jones. Go ahead. The majority of the points, Eric, this half have come at the free throw line for both teams. I mean, Michigan State only has seven field goals this half. Carolina has seven as well. But the Spartans getting to the line and making some shots as uh, Lucius now looks to be in some pain as he walks off with the aid of a trainer for Michigan State. Wouldn't oh, I think he's uh, really incapacitated, uh, Jones. I'll be surprised if he comes back the way he had to be helped by the trainer over to the Michigan State bench. And looking on the replay that we had in front of us, I did not see him turn an ankle. It looked as though he planted and pushed off. Kind looked of like, it, looked like it looked like it was his, the front and the toe area. Ty Lawson at the line. Hope that young man's okay. Lawson arches it up, and it's good. And the Michigan State fans are booing Ty Lawson as a result of that injury by Lucius. Yeah, but he didn't do anything. Don't so. understand that. Grass free throw. Strong. That's good also. 10 of 12. Ty Lawson at the line. 78-63. Just under five minutes to play. 
Here's Walton coming to the right, back to the left. Got it off to Summers, drives down the lane and ran into Danny Green, and they're going to call the foul on Danny Green. And Roy Williams has dropped to one knee in front of the Carolina bench. He simply cannot believe it. That is Green's fourth personal foul. And it looked like he had his position clearly established, Eric. I'm going to tell you. I mean, we, we don't complain about fouls very often, but there have been a couple that are really questionable. Well, at some point, you got to let these guys play some defense. I mean, Danny Green was just standing there with his arms up. Summers ran into him on the shot and gets the foul. Thornton had been in briefly. He goes out, and back in is Kalen Lucas. Summers gets ready for another free throw. And that one is good also. So he's got 10 points in the game, and it. 78-65, 13-point Carolina lead. Lawson now in the backcourt, gets across the timeline against Walden. Now Lawson will back up, gives it to Ellington in the center jump circle. Now Ellington wanted to move against Summers, got it to Frazier. Off the dribble, he pushes it to Green. Now Green against Raymar Morgan. Now it goes back to Ellington on the right side. They're trying to find something here against this pressure defense. And the ball got kicked loose. We got a kicking violation and it'll belong to Carolina. Lucas was going the other way with it. Thought he had a run out. That will also reset the shot clock. Yeah, to 15, 15 seconds. So Carolina gets eight extra uh, shot clock seconds there. Valuable seconds at this point, 4.17 on the clock. It'll take it to almost four minutes, but make no mistake, Carolina's got to find some offense here in the last four, min four minutes and 17 seconds. Bobby Frazier will inbound the basketball along the side, front of the scorer's table. Got it to Lawson. Clock is running down. It's now at 10 seconds. Is Lawson aware of it? Now here's Lawson trying to drive. Got down the lane. Scores on the layup. And that's where he is so valuable because, like it or not, offense or no offense, that kid can score. They made a switch with Raymar Morgan on him, Eric, and he drove Morgan right out of the field to play. Here is Lucas trying to drive on Hansbrough. Hansbrough knocked down. Oh, and a charge finally called on Michigan State. And it's on Kalen Lucas, and there is applause from everybody on the Tar Heel bench. And with that, we got a timeout on the floor. 3.51 remaining to be played, and can you believe it? Some folks are heading for the exit here at Ford Field. 80-65, Carolina. Tar Heels are 8 of 23 in the second half as far as their shooting is concerned. First half, they were 18 of 34 for 53%. But as Eric just explained, that's dropped down considerably because of the way the second half has unfolded. Carolina inbounding the ball again. Michigan State, good defensive basketball team with five to guard, four on the inbound, and then they drop into a tight man-to-man. -man. Lawson gives it up to Ellington. He has Lucas on him. Frazier comes out to get it. Summers is there. Now to Green. Walton's got the job on him. Now Sutton's even moving out near the timeline against Hansbro. Hansbro puts it on the floor. Now to Frazier. Frazier will try to give it back to Lawson, but the, oh, and Thornton and Lawson get tangled up, and the foul has been called on Thornton, and that's going to be his first <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm leaning back in the chair because, I, well, I'm going to say it. Thornton may be in to replace somebody, but it's obvious he came in to take some fouls. I agree. Absolutely. Lawson will go to the line. 325 remaining. 15-point lead. Lawson's first one, good. He'll have another one coming. Has three field goals tonight on three of ten shooting. 11 of 13 at the line for 17 points. Ellington has 19, Hansbro 18. Also 11 by Ed Davis, so we've got four Tar Heels in double figures right now. Lawson arches the next one up, and it's good also. So he makes them both, and it's 82 to 65. Just over three minutes to play. Michigan State trying to find an opening. Here's Summers. Short shot. 
No good. Fell out on the right side. Sutan had a hand on it. Lost it. Summers saved it to Lucas. Michigan State still with the ball. Here's Lucas on the drive. Fires through. Missed the shot. Hansbro pulls the rebound down. He'll give it to Green on the right side. Now Green gets the ball front court. This crowd, the Carolina fans are starting to stand up. They're sensing a, another national championship for Roy Williams, but there's still 2.45 to go. Green gets the handoff from Hansbro, moves against Sutan, middle of the floor, dropped it to Hansbro, and he got fouled by Raymar Morgan, and he's out of the game. Raymar Morgan has just fouled out for the third time this season, and he will leave with four points on one of two shooting. It's interesting, Eric, how some of the Spartans, when you look down what they've done tonight, there were a lot of Spartans that didn't take very many shots tonight. Well, their offense has not been great. I mean, for all the times that we've talked about how Carolina's offense needs to get going, Carolina's defense has been very good. It's been very solid, particularly in the first half. It caused so many turnovers. It is, it, it's required Michigan State to take shots that they don't want to take. Kalen Lucas about the only guy out there that can really get his shot on his own if he desires it, and he's had to force some shots. You look at his opportunities. 4 of 11 from the field. They're, they're, the only guy out there who is making over 50% is Sutan, who's 7 for 10. And Tom Izzo just took Goran Sutan out of the game to let the Michigan State fans applaud him. He made three three-pointers tonight, and he leaves with 17 points as Tyler Hansbro misses the first free throw. He'll have another one coming. Tyler's got 18 points to go along with his seven rebounds, and he missed them both. Ball deflected by Danny Green, but picked up by Michigan State. Here comes Lucas, front court. Ball stolen by Frazier. Run out. Frazier will take it in for the layup. Bobby Frazier. He looked Danny Green, and I think Green gave him the nod. You take it. Trying to get his name in the score column in the national championship game. 84-65 to 65 with 2.15 to go. Moving to the top of the key is Lucas. Back it goes to Summers. Long outside three is good by Darrell Summers. That's his second of the game. He's got nine in the second half, 13 for the game, and we got a timeout on the floor. 2.07 to play. The Tar Heels ahead by 16. <laughs> I looked at Jones Angel to my left and Eric Montross to my right, and none of us want to say anything no. <laughs> about what's about to happen right now, even with 2.07 left. But all we will start to tell you, and we said it first, the Tar Heels are expected back at the Smith Center tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in the Smith Center. If Carolina holds on to this advantage, there will be a celebration in the Smith Center uh, with the team immediately upon their return. The Smith Center doors will open to the public at 1 p.m. Admission to that event is free. If you're uh, interested in transportation suggestions or parking suggestions, TarHeelBlue.com is your place. That, of course, assuming uh, Carolina holds on with 2.07 to go, leading 84 to 68. Ball is inbounded by the Tar Heels. Lawson gets it from Fraser. Now he's going to try to get it front court against Lucas. Boy, he has given Lucas a ton of problems tonight just with the way he's controlled the basketball there. Yeah, he certainly has. He has been big time offensively and defensively. Hands broke. Got it finally to Lawson. Allen put his hands on Lawson's back, but no foul on the play. Now I think Tom Izzo was about to say no fouls because the shot clock was running down. And the foul is on Chris Allen, and that's his second. And Lawson will go back to the line. More people are starting to head for the exits now, some of the Michigan State fans, and we've got a timeout being called by Carolina. And Roy Williams has got his team huddled around him for this 30-second timeout. Got 142 remaining, 16-point Carolina lead. It was a championship record for halftime points with 55 and a championship record for the biggest lead at the half, 21. And Ty Lawson also set another record tonight with his steals. A couple things. If, if Carolina does end up winning this game, I think Michigan State's going to look back and wonder why it couldn't play the first half like it played the second half. And that's really forced Carolina into more of a half-court game. Uh, really kind of, I mean, this has been much more of a physical kind of slug-it-out second half, whereas the first half, Carolina was able to get those turnovers, guys, 
get out and run and just build that enormous lead early on as, as much as 24, Woody, and then 21 at the half. So there will be free throws upcoming for the Tar Heels. Thornton, Rowe, Summers, Lucas, and Allen are in the game for Michigan State. Hansbro, Ellington, Green, Frazier, and Lawson, who's at the foul line, are on the floor for Carolina. Free throw is up. Good by Lawson. Well, I don't think it's too big of an overstatement to say. I think it's pretty clear that the guy who's at the free throw line likely going to be the tournament's most outstanding player. I would certainly think so, the way he's performed. Got yeah. the Bob Cousy Award earlier today from the National Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Mass. We got a whistle and a foul called on Danny Green, and that will be his fifth. Danny Green fouls out of his third game of the season. And the sixth game of his career. And he leaves with six points on two of four shooting, both of which were three-pointers, one in the first half and one in the second half. AT&T, your world delivered. And his teammates are congratulating and hugging Danny Green. And he and Marcus Ginyard have a big embrace, of course. Ginyard with that medical red shirt after his foot problem coming back next year for an extra year of play. Thornton's at the foul line. Free throw is good. Austin Thornton, the 6'5 freshman out of Sand Lake, Michigan, came in 9 of 12 at the line on the year. He's averaged about four minutes of playing time when he's got into any action. 85-69. Next free throw is also good. 85-70, to 15-point Carolina lead. Michigan State's going to pressure in the backcourt now. Edong Ebok, senior from Lagos, Nigeria, is in the lineup as well for Michigan State. Marquise Gray is in. Here's Ty Lawson. Across the timeline, reaching in is Gray. And Lawson will go back to the foul line. The Tar Heels, as a team, 26 of 38 at the line for 68%. Been a lot of free throws shot. Boy, Tom Izzo has just extended this half interminably almost. And he's not that it's not a good tactic. He's just fouling every time, trying to find a way to gain just a little bit of a foothold. Ebok will come out and Austin Thornton will come back in. Ty Lawson's now 14 of 17 at the line, Eric. He's going to get another one here. 15 of 18. Tenth best free throw shooter in the ACC was 24 of 33 in the postseason coming into this game tonight after a 10 of 17 against Villanova. Long outside shot by Summers, no good. Ball knocked away and it went out of bounds off Thornton and it'll be Carolina ball with 122 remaining. Deion Thompson will inbound. Substitutions coming in now for Michigan State. Summers is coming out and into the lineup now is Isaiah Dahlman, a junior from Braham, Minnesota. Thompson inbounds the ball to Hansbro. He looks, gives it to Lawson in the backcourt. The Michigan State pressure is dropping off, Eric. Well, now it's time for the Carolina team to begin their celebration. Yep. And here come the guys, the blue team, Patrick Moody, Justin Watts, J.B. Tanner, and Mike Copeland. And Roy Williams wants a 30-second timeout to put him in, but he says to keep playing. Mark Campbell as well on the court, and they are all smiles on the nation's biggest stage, and you can hear the Tar Heel fans going crazy. This was the favored team to win the national championship before the season ever started. But then so many things happened on the way to Ford Field in Detroit but it really says volumes about this team. It's character, it's uh, just its desire, whatever, to come back and play the way this team did. Patrick Moody to Justin Watts, put it up, it wouldn't go. The follow inside is good, just as the horn sounded. And that makes it 89 to 70. Moody get credit for that? Justin Watts. Or Justin Watts. 
Here's the outside shot. That's no good off the rim. Rebounded by Mark Campbell. Here come the reserves. Campbell gets right by Lucas on the drive. Scooped it up. Wouldn't go. Thornton down with a rebound for Michigan State. The clock is down to 26, 25, 23. Roy Williams getting hugs from all of his players on the sideline. Lucas in the deep left corner for Michigan State. The clock is at 12, 11, 10. Here's Thornton. Takes the jump shot. No good. Rebounded by Michigan State. Put up and in by Dahlman for his first field goal. 89-72. And how about them Tar Heels? They are the national champion. tournament team has been announced. Lucas and Sutan from Michigan State. Hansbro and Lawson joined by the most outstanding player at the Final Four 2009. Wayne Ellington. There is Roy Williams. He came home to Carolina and in six years he's brought them two oh, national no. championships. They are clearly the best in college basketball in 2009. Welcome back to Detroit, everyone. This reminder, still ahead tonight after your late local news, stay tuned for The Late Show with David Letterman. Don't miss Stupid Petrix plus Paul Rudd. And then Craig welcomes Amy Adams on The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Coming up, one shining moment, our annual CBS Sports tribute to the NCAA tournament. Here are the Chevrolet most valuable players of the 2009 National Championship game. Goran Sutan of Michigan State, 17 points and 11 rebounds, and with 21 points and eight steals, Ty Lawson for the University of North Carolina. Greg Gumbel along with Greg Anthony and Seth Davis. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can't win a pickup game on the street when you turn the ball over 21 times. No, you can't. And we've talked all year long about how great North Carolina's offense is, but really I thought their defense, spitterheaded by Ty Lawson tonight, really was the difference in the game. He had eight steals on his own and really was the disruptive force out on the floor. Never allowed Michigan State to get into any kind of a rhythm offensively, and that led right into that just vaunted attack offensively by North Carolina. Just too much firepower. And we had always been so impressed with Michigan State's poise. The worst case scenario for them was for North Carolina to jump on them at the beginning the way they did. Michigan State totally got away from what they did well, started firing up from threes. It was over early. <laughs> and these folks know it. 89-72 the final. Coming up, the presentation of the 2009 NCAA National Championship to the victorious Tar Heels when we continue live from Detroit. Welcome back to Detroit, Michigan, everyone. There is your final score. Let's get you back down to the court for the presentation of the NCAA trophy. Jim Nance and Clark Kellogg standing by with the national champions. Jim. We're back here with the presentation of the national championship trophy. That's going to be in the hands of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And here to present it is the chair of the Division I Men's Basketball Committee, Mike Slive. Mike. Thanks, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the NCAA and Dr. Miles Brand, to whom we all send our very, very best wishes, and on behalf of the Men's Basketball Committee, I want to congratulate both teams for a great season, a great tournament run, and a great t performance tonight. And now, it's my pleasure to present the 2009 National Championship Trophy to coach Roy Williams and the North Carolina Tar Heels.
get a piece of that. <laughs> yes. That feeling of putting your hands on that trophy another time. I look around, Coach, and I see tears in the eyes of your players. You can just tell the unity you had. It's something very special, and we saw it on the floor tonight. Well, Jim, all year long, everybody's anointed this team, and uh, they played their tail off. We had a couple of bumps in the road. They, they handled injuries. They handled some uh, losses. Only thing I know is the youngster standing behind me, our great, great young man, I'm the luckiest coach in America, I can tell you that. And I know on a night like tonight, you not only think of these kids, but you're thinking of Coach Smith also. I think of two things. I think of my family that's put up with me so many nights watching tape and being gone. And I do think of Coach Smith. Coach, hope you're watching. I hope you're enjoying this moment. Clark Kellogg, you are standing by here with the most outstanding player at the Final Four, Wayne Ellington. Congratulations, Wayne. I know you're emotional. Talk about what this feels like. Is it what you anticipated? Because I know you guys focused on this from the end of the semifinal loss last year. This is where you guys wanted to be. Tell me how you're feeling now. It feels great. You know, you, you never know what this feeling feels like until you experience it. It's something that you really can't explain. What did you think about as you had the tears flowing there just a little bit ago? I just thought about how hard we worked. You know, we've been working so hard since last year when we fell short. And we wanted to redeem ourselves. We worked so hard. And I was proud of all my teammates, my coaches. It feels great. Congratulations, Wayne. Jim, take it away. Thank you, Clark. And Tyler Hansbro, what a way to close out one of the most decorated careers in the history of college basketball. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is the best way to go out. I mean, I couldn't picture it any other way. I mean, you know, what, we, what we've been through this year, and we climbed and we did it. You did it, and Ty Lawson, you did it too. You set a championship game record with eight steals tonight. Talk about this. Yeah, you didn't know it, did you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just trying to uh, get in the passing lanes and um, just slow down Kaylin Lucas today, and that was the main goal, and uh, that's what I did tonight. Listen, I wish we could talk to every one of you because you all contributed, but you're all national champions. The Nets belong to you, and so does one shining moment. Congratulations, Congratulations to the Tar Heels, the 2009 national champions. Stay tuned, everyone. We're coming back with more from Detroit. One shining moment still on its way right after this. Welcome back to Detroit, everyone. We remind you, coming up tonight here on CBS after your late local news, it's The Late Show with David Letterman, followed by The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. And still to come, our special tribute to the NCAA tournament, one shining moment. Werner Ladder is proud to provide $1,000 to the general scholarship fund of every school in this year's Final Four. Werner, the official ladder of the NCAA basketball championships and the official ladder of professional contractors who rise above the rest. It was convincing, if nothing else, this performance by the North Carolina Tar Heels. Unbelievable. I'd be remiss if we didn't first tip our hats to Michigan State, Coach Tom Izzo, and the job they did to get here. Remember, they knocked off two number one seeds. But I have to say, in Coach Roy Williams and North Carolina's basketball team, as impressive a performance as I've ever seen in a national championship game, and it couldn't have happened to a nicer group of young men. I fully echo that. It is a first-class program, and I want to give a special nod here to Tyler Hansbro. When he decided to come back for his senior year, he did it very early after the season was over. At that time, he was assuming that at least one, if not more, of his teammates would not be back. He came back because he loves being a college kid, and he's right. He's going out of champion. We agreed. All the pressure of tonight was on the Tar Heels of North Carolina. They were expected to win. They shook off that pressure, and they won it. One shiny moment and more still to come. Stay tuned. We'll continue live after this. Welcome back to Motown, everyone. There is your final score in the championship game. North Carolina, 89, Michigan State, 72. Still ahead tonight after your late local news. Stay tuned for the late show with David Letterman. Don't miss Stupid Petrix plus Paul Rudd. And then Craig welcomes Amy Adams on the late, late show with Craig Ferguson. And for our congratulations to head coach Roy Williams and national champion North Carolina for keeping the Tar Heel tradition going, winning their fifth title. We also applaud Coach Tom Izzo and the Michigan State Spartans who enjoyed an outstanding season and gave the fans in their home state a much-needed lift.
as we get set to say so long from Detroit, we pause to recall a beloved member of our CBS Sports family, Doug Tui, our longtime creative director who recently passed away. Doug's distinctive touches have enhanced all of our broadcasts, including his inspired idea to conclude our NCAA tournament coverage with one shining moment. Tonight, we honor Doug's memory as we continue our tradition of saluting the newly crowned champions. Here now is the 2009 edition of One Shining Moment. And all the years, no one knows just how hard you want. But now it's shining. Look at each time. Oh, what a try. Oh, it's a shining moment. It's all on the line. And it's good to the lead. With one downtown, yes! That in one shining moment, you reach oh, the same side. One shining water. moment, you knew you were alive. Feel the root of your heart. Feel the wind in your face. It's more than a contest. It's more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Point three to play. Here we go, Wisconsin. Drives in, hang it up. Count it! One second. The long desperation. My oh, God! Oh, my! Spinning in traffic. Leaning up. Count it on the five! And when or lose, you always need your best. Cause inside you know. Summers comes in. And it right over. A record crowd to see the championship, and we're underway. Thompson's got the advantage. The size of Carolina, too much for Michigan State to handle. A performance from the start that could not have been any finer. North Carolina is the 2009 national champion.